If you're looking to buy the Canon Rebel T6 in 2020, this video is for you. So let's find out if it's worth buying the Canon T6 in 2020 starting right now. This is the Canon Rebel T6, also known as the Canon EOS 1300D. It is a DSLR camera made by Canon. It was announced on March 10th, 2016 with a retail price of 730 Canadian dollars. At the time of recording this video, you can get it for around $300 with a kit lens. And in my opinion, that's a pretty good price, but there's a reason why. So in terms of specs, this camera has an 18 megapixels APS-C sized CMOS sensor it comes with an 18 to 55 mm kit lens with image stabilization. It has a built-in flash. It can shoot up to 1080p full HD video at 30 frames or 24 frames per second. And in photo mode, it can shoot up to 3 frames per second. It also features Wi-Fi and NFC, which allows you to control the camera remotely from your smartphone or transfer images wirelessly, which is actually one of my favorite features on this camera. This camera also has a mini USB port and HDMI port, and you can also use an intervalometer with this camera. However, this camera does not have Canon's dual pixel autofocus during photo or video mode, it doesn't have an audio in jack, and it doesn't have a flip LCD screen, which means this camera is not perfect for video. But if you're looking to buy this camera for photography, I would recommend it. It's definitely a step up from a point and shoot camera or your smartphone because it has all the manual controls a professional DSLR would have. And you can get some really good photos from this camera, you just need to know how to use it properly. I've been using this camera for more than 4 years now and I really like it. There are so many good things about it, for example, it feels well built and it fits nicely in my hands, it's not too small like a mirrorless camera and it's not too big like some of Canon's professional DSLR cameras. The screen is nice and bright, the buttons and dials also feel pretty nice and although this camera is not weather sealed, I have never had any problems with it. But when it comes to video, this camera is not what you want to get. Don't get me wrong, the video quality that comes out of this camera is pretty good, but there are some caveats like you have no autofocus in video mode and you don't have a flip LCD screen, so if you want to film yourself, you can't really do that and you can't use an external mic. It has a built-in mic, but I don't think it sounds any better than a smartphone mic. If there's one thing I could change in this camera, it would be the screen. A very angle screen is so useful even if you're just shooting photos. It's so much easier to get low angle photos. But again, like I said, for $300, I think it's pretty good. Overall, I have to say, I really like this camera and it's held up pretty well after 4 years of use. I think I can still use it for a few more years. So I think it's worth buying this camera in 2020 if you're planning to use it mainly for photography. And if you're really interested in buying this, I'll probably have some links in the description below where you can pick this up. If I forgot to mention anything in this video that you want to know about this camera, just ask me in the comments, I'll let you know. So that's it for me, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one.